Today we will talk about the chain rule uh, for derivatives and the slopes of parametric curves uh, related to the chain rule. Now let me give the uh, recall the rule shortly. If f uh, is differentiable at the point u, where u is a function of x, and g is differentiable at x, then the composite function, composition function f composite with g is differentiable at x. And the chain rule uh, given by the derivative of composition here. Let me explain the chain rule by pa passing over the uh, Leibniz notation. And here, f is uh, the outside function, uh, g is the inside function. We can uh, understand the, we can talk about the chain rule by giving the inside-outside rule. What is inside-outside rule? F is the outside one, G is the inside one. So take the derivative of the outside function and evaluate the outside function at GX and take the derivative of, calculate the derivative of the inside function and multiply them. So this is the outside-inside rule for the chain rule. Uh, let's come back to Leibniz notation. Here, f depends on u, u depends on x, as given uh, above. Here, uh, f depends on u, u depends on x. The f over dx, the derivative of f with respect to x, is the derivative with respect to u, derivative of f with respect to u, times derivative of u with respect to x. So we can use the diagrams in order to see the chain rule uh, easily. So here uh, we have an example. We have three functions. The first function is the outside function sine, then cosine, and the inside function x squared. Here we, we say that y is sine v, v is cosine squared, uh, u is x squared, so when u is x squared, v is cosine u, y is sine v, so y depends on v, v depends on u, u depends on x, and we apply the chain rule using the diagram, so y uh, the derivative of y with respect to the last variable, dx, uh, then uh, d, dy over dx is dy over dv, the second one, dv over du, next one, and du over dx, the last one. So this is the chain rule for such a function. So what is the derivative of y with respect to v? It is just cosine v. What is the derivative of v with respect to u? It is just minus sine u. And what is the derivative of u with respect to x? 2x. But this is not the last answer. This is not the conclusion. I need to give the answer in the form of the last variable x. So cosine v, v is cosine u. u is x squared, so I have cosine cosine x squared minus times minus sine x squared times 2x, or I can write minus 2x sine x squared and cosine of cosine x squared. So this is the answer after applying chain rule twice. Let's see the uh, notion on slopes of parametric curves. Uh, we know that a parametric curve, uh, for a parametric curve, y is a function of x. y is a function of x, we know this. And x is defined by t, y is defined by t, consider g for example. So, but we know that y is a function of x. So we are searching for the derivative of y with respect to, y with respect to x. We are searching for this derivative, or uh, shortly we can use the prime notation, y prime. Now, uh, here we can use the chain rule. You, let's set up the diagram. The derivative of y with respect to t is the derivative of y with respect to x times the derivative of x with respect to t. Uh, dy over dt is dy over dx times dx over dt. So this is our derivative. This is y prime. So uh, y prime dy over dx in Leibniz notation is just dy over dt over dx over dt provided that dx over dt is non-zero. For otherwise, the proportion is not meaningful, so derivative is not defined. Now, let's write the short formula here. Uh, dy over dx 
is dy over dt and dx over dt. We can use this one directly in the questions. Or again, I must write the important point, dx over dt is non-zero. Now, we construct the parametric formula for the second derivative. So first derivative is a, a function of x, is also a function of x. y depends on x, x depends on t. So y prime depends on x, uh, and x depends on t. So we can apply the same chain rule, the chain rule. We can construct the uh, diagram, y t with respect to t, y prime with respect to t, y prime with respect to x, x with respect to t. And we can write dy prime over dt is dy prime over dx times dx over dt. Here, dy prime over dx is our second derivative. So second derivative, uh, let me write using the other notation, Leibniz notation, is dy over dy prime over dt. Pay attention, dy prime over dt over dx over dt. Again, provided that dx over dt is non-zero. Since it is necessary for the first derivative, let me rewrite again. Here, you take the derivative of y prime again with respect to t. Now, uh, we will see some examples. Come back to our examples. Uh, determine whether uh, the function second cube x has a tangent line whose slope is negative at a point in the given interval. So we are searching for the point if it, is, if it exists, uh, at which the function has a tangent with negative slope. So my function is second cube x, in fact is uh, cube of second cube. So let's take the derivative by using the chain rule. It is not necessary to write the diagram, you to construct the diagram, you can apply the chain rule directly. 3 second square x, the outside function, evaluate the outside function, cube function, evaluate it uh, at inside function, times inside function's derivative. It is second times tangent. Now, uh, we have 3 second cube x times tangent x. Let's write second in the form of cosine, 3 over cosine cube, times sine over cosine. So we have 3 sine x over cosine x for the power. So this is derivative. Let's come back to the question. Now, sine x is always non-negative in, in the given interval or for any x in the interval. You can say that uh, at pi over 2 cosine is not defined. We are searching for the existed slope, so uh, don't worry about pi over 2. We are searching for the fact that if the slope exists, can it be negative? So here, sine x is always positive. The answer is no. It, uh, the function does not have a tangent line with negative slope in the given interval. Now, uh, let's see a parametric curve, question on parametric curve slopes. We have a parametric curve parametrized by uh, root 3 tangent theta, tangent t, sorry, and second t. x is parametrized by uh, tangent, uh, y is parametrized by second, and the point, the corresponding point is given by pi over 3. First, we write the formula again. Let me write the, the let me uh, put the diagram in order to make it clear. So we apply the chain rule. dy over dx, the first derivative, is dy over dt over dx over dt. So this is our formula, parametric curves. Uh, derivative formula, dy over dt, the derivative of second with respect to t, second times tangent, so trigonometric functions derivatives are so important, over dx over dt, root 3 is, it's constant, what is the derivative of tangent? Tangent's derivative is second square, so we can cancel this second and second, second is non-zero, so we have just tangent t over root 3, Second, we know that tangent is sine over cosine, 
and second is one over cosine. Let's write root three over cosine here. We can cancel cosines and sine t over root three is left. We obtain sine t over root three. So in order to find the tangent slope, m tangent, the slope of the tangent line at the given point, we substitute the given t value here. t is pi over three. Sine pi over three is root three over two and divide by root three, just get one over two. This is the slope of the tangent. Let's find the slope of the normal. Slopes, tangent slope and normal slope uh, ha have a good relation. Uh, they are perpendicular, so minus one over m normal is minus one over m tangent since, so m normal is minus two here. This is the normal uh, lines slope, this is the tangent line slope. Let's find the corresponding point, t is given, but we are searching for the point x0, y0 in general. So when t is pi over 3, what is our x? x is root 3 tangent pi over 3, it is root 3, so x coordinate is 3. And y is second pi over 3, what is this? Uh, cos, 1 over cosine pi over 3, it is 2, so it is 2. Our point is 3 and 2. Let's write the tangent here, tangent. And let's, let me write the uh, normals equation here. And y minus y0, y minus 2, m times, what is our m? 1 over 2, x minus x0 x minus 3. And normal equation, normal, line, normal lines equation, y mi minus 2, m times here, x minus 3. So you get the simplified version. Now uh, we, we, find, we find also d square y over uh, dx square. Let's find d square y over dx square. I mean that the second derivative uh, at the given point here. So this is our uh, last part of the question. So y prime, y prime's derivative, the first derivative of the first derivative is the second derivative. So we apply the parametric formula again. Pay attention to the fact that this is dx over dt we found above. So dy, dy prime over dt, what is our dy prime here, dy prime, this is dy prime of course, not y, dy prime. What is dy prime? Cosine t over root 3. What is dx over dt? dx over dt is available above, root 3, 3 second square, right? I have, let me write here, 1 over 3 cosine cube t. So this is our second derivative formula in the form of t. Since the uh, curve is parameterized by t, the derivative formula depends on t, of course. Let's find the value at the end. What is cosine pi over 3? 1 over 2. Cube of 1 over 2, 1 over 8 over 3, and the answer is 1 over 24. So this is the answer of the question. Uh, today we have studied the chain rule and parametric is a formula for the derivative and second derivative and slopes of uh, parametric curves. And we saw two examples uh, on the chain rule and parametric differentiation. See you next time.